Who on the night beat his face may be familiar. His family's story probably isn't. Mark Cross jokes with Spurs legend George Gervin during car commercials, but his family's history and a small group of San Antonians actually includes starvation, persecution, and survival. From San Antonio, let's go to Europe and the Middle East and Turkey and what was during World War I the Ottoman Empire. And for Armenians, what happened here more than 100 years ago it still has them searching for justice. We want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. It's not ancient history, it just feels like this is part of our heritage. In an office above a car dealer's showroom, three men dealing with their past. And being an Arab Armenian, it means that you are a survivor. Mark Cross, Haig Panoan, and David Akopian, Armenian Americans haunted and inspired by what their grandparents went through to survive. 1.5 million Armenians killed by forces of the Ottoman Empire. Christian Armenians declared traitors during World War I. Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters slaughtered. Mark keeps a picture of he and his grandfather in his office as a reminder. What's that picture mean to you? That picture is probably um, my favorite thing. It's gotta be one of my favorite things in my life. Uh, his grandfather's brother and parents were killed, but he somehow made it all the way to Ellis Island. If he's gonna survive that, I can survive whatever, I'm, whatever obstacles I have. The sporadic pillage and murder of Armenians for- It's history the Armenians are determined not to let fade away. Mark Cross commemorated the 100 year anniversary on the dealership's digital billboard. A memorial to the victims of the genocide stands in Armenia. And a lot of governments are coming to formally recognize what happened. The Pope, the German parliament, the French government, all recently calling this genocide. Still, these three think even 101 years later, making peace with the past is important for the Turks as well as Armenians. It's about uh, what we are today, not what happened in the past. The, the fact itself that today uh, we exist, uh, it's a victory for us. For 59 years, you know, this has been part of my life. It's just part of who I am as an Armenian American. And meanwhile, the Turkish government to this day refuses to call what happened to Armenians there genocide. It's not even in their history books. The United States government also refusing to call it a genocide, likely because they don't want to alienate an ally like Turkey in the volatile Middle East. I first heard about this piece of history when these three men came and spoke and visited my church. They were a small but proud part of our San Antonio community.